Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be trying out five TikTok hacks. If you know me in person, you know I love makeup and food. So today's TikTok hacks are about makeup and food. Before we start this video, I want to address a few things. First is the noise. I have the fan on right here next to me because it's really hot and I'm trying not to turn on the AC and also my husband is outside cleaning the windows being the good husband that he is second of all this is my first video showing my new hair I am so happy with this new hair although I'm going lighter still but I really love it this quarantine thing has been good and bad to me it's been good because like I get to do these things and I got my eyebrows waxed too but it's also bad because last night literally me and my husband were going crazy I was like you know what if this was a normal day we would be at freaking Target at 1030 at night but you know we're on lockdown, semi-lockdown. Anyway, let's move on with this video. Love Valley, hi, hi. Okay guys, so we are off to our first hack. <laughs> Whenever I start talking, Buster's goes crazy. As you guys saw from the video, all she did was she took a brush. I'm taking something kind of similar to what she has. And then I'm going to take some brown eyeshadow from my Juvia's Place palette. This hack honestly is way out of my comfort zone because I do my face first before I do my eyebrows. I just feel like I get a better outcome and a better like image of what my face is gonna look like so <laughs> let's see. I'm not sure I think I'm gonna go for this one still let me zoom you guys in so we get a closer look have my mirror down here now I have you guys closer so I'm gonna grab that color over here and I'm going to really load up on my brush we're just gonna haphazardly lay the lay the brush flat and then like she wasn't even thinking about it so I think I need more color I'm looking very crazy right now so the next thing she did was she brushed through her hair. So let me grab my eyebrow spoolie and then kind of brush everything together. That is so ugly. This is not bad though. Next, she took a baby wipe. So I'm gonna, or she probably took a makeup wipe, but I have baby wipes right now. She wrapped it around her finger like so. And then she cleaned up the edges of her brows. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> it's not that bad. It is a hack. It can work. From afar, it's not that bad. I mean, I I would wear this. It's just that it's not giving me the shape that I want. Also, I went a little too ham in the front. So, like, um, so... Yeah, it works. It's just not for me, but it works. If you're new to brows, this is probably the easiest way you can master to do you can master doing your brows. But I'm just I have a system I'm already comfortable with. So, all right. So hack number two is for your face makeup. 
this video, mm, just, just watch it. If you wear makeup, watch. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one, and I just lightly dab it all over my face. Not too much. Then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your fucking makeup is going to look. And it's going to stay on 24-7 and it's not going to crease. It's a technique that's probably still used by so many other people. I heard that it's been used for like a long time, but I just found out about it. And honestly, look, I don't have the beauty filter on. Try it on you and let me know if it works. Okay, so I took off as much as I can from the eyebrows just because it wasn't it wasn't doing it for me. So we're going to do this makeup hack. And she said, first, we do moisturizer. This is my moisturizer as of the moment. I really love this. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Lotion. And I'm just going to put this much. Now that my moisturizer is dry, the next thing is to put a thin layer of translucent powder. Today I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills one with my It Cosmetics. I don't even know what kind of brush this is. I'm going to take these two and then we're going to put a light layer of powder on my face. Is that light? <laughs> oh, oh no, I went on my hair. Okay, wait. We're gonna go get my um, Morphe R0 brush. There. There, it's so light, you can't even tell that I'm putting powder on. Okay, so after powder, she said use setting spray. I'm gonna use my Morphe um, Continuous Setting Mist and just spray my face actually I'm kind of liking this moisturizer powder look Ooh, is my life changing okay so my setting spray is dry now she said to use a primer put on your primer just like how you do it so I'm using my makeup forever step one skin equalizer primer and I'm just gonna smooth out all my pores. This is usually how much I put. So, in my mirror here, melt it on the warmth of my fingers and just go at it where I have the biggest pores. Oh, mm, okay. I can feel a difference right now. My primer is sticking to my skin way faster than it normally would okay so now that we've laid down the other stuff um, we're gonna do foundation now I'm using the morphe fluidity foundation I am a shade f240 which by the way my husband helped me shade match so I hope this is still my shade because I have been staying indoors because of this whole quarantine thing. I'm not noticing a difference right away but let me go put it all on and continue to do my face and then I'll be right back. Alright you guys so I have been doing my face for 20-25 minutes and honestly it looks like how I would normally do my face but the one thing I don't like is I feel super heavy. I don't know if it's because the powder is underneath my foundation, but I just, I don't feel good. But I'm, I will, I would rock this. It looks pretty good. Um, I didn't see any major differences other than my primer really stuck on really good on my face, but that's about it. For our third hack today, I, this is my favorite hack and I love coffee if you love coffee you might want to try this out but I have been loving this hack so much excuse the voice this was taken a couple days ago and it was right when I woke up in the morning so I have a really deep voice in the morning and if I sound tired it's because I I just woke up <laughs>
Then we're doing the TikTok coffee. And this is not my first time making it, nor is it my second. It's probably like my fifth time. So I already know it works, but let's just do it again. What you'll need is instant coffee. We have 100% Kona coffee in this house, which is super great. Because I'm making one for me and one for Wyatt, I'm going to use three tablespoons, which is basically what's left in this whole jar. And we're going to do equal parts of sugar. I've played around with this um, coffee recipe and I tried using like um sugar substitutes or alternatives i use the pure monk um sweetener that didn't work so i think it was it's the sugar that makes it that frothy the next step now is adding hot water it's hot and i put three of that so now I'm going to bust out our hand mixer because your girl is not about to be mixing and standing here for 20 minutes. That's done. We're gonna get our cups and I'm gonna put ice and water in them. So with the glass that I use, I put half, half. So half of the cup is milk and then half of this is enough to fill up the cup. TikTok Dalgona coffee. In fact, I loved it so much that I made a really huge batch and it's just sitting in the fridge right now. And you know, anybody in the morning can just scoop it over their ice and milk and all done. Now onto our fourth TikTok hack. This one I'm kind of on the fence with, but this is the egg sandwich hack. When I lose control Okay guys, so we're back in the kitchen today. This is filmed on a different day and Right now, we're going to try the sandwich hack. So what you're going to need is two eggs. So I'm going to put some garlic salt on my eggs, and then I'm going to beat it up. The eggs are beaten. Now I'm going to move you guys over so we can have a view of the pan. My butter is bubbling now. I'm ready to put my eggs. And on TikTok, they said that you want to make sure your egg is nice and flat. Let's see how good I can do this. While it's still wet, you're going to grab two pieces of bread. I'm going to do one side and then... Uh-oh, I think I need more egg. One side and... Oh no, do it again. So I'm gonna let that sit and have this bottom portion cook a little bit. I have no idea how this is going to work because my egg is sticking. So now what the people do is, oh, it's already a fail. I can see it. It's okay, we're still gonna try. So they flip 
the bread. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay guys, so we're doing redemption. I'm gonna make round two. I'm gonna make it perfect this time. So I'm gonna put more butter. So more butter and instead of two eggs this time, I'm doing three. Same thing, I'm gonna try keep keep it as round as I can. I can breathe. Trial and error. Now we're gonna put the cheese, put the heat on really low. So now we're gonna fold. I made a mistake. I didn't fold the eggs in first before the cheese. You know what, guys? It it's fine. Oh, now it's gonna look like an actual sandwich. Let me get the egg and fold it in half. So clearly the second one worked out way better. I guess you just need more egg, more butter, but it worked. And as you can see, that's how my egg sandwich ended up. I needed to put more egg, which honestly I personally didn't like because I try not to eat more than two eggs per day. And then it also makes your bread super fat. I didn't like that, but I guess if you like egg sandwiches, that would work for you. Okay, now we're down to our last TikTok hack for today. I'm not sure if I'm going to make any more of these videos. Let me know if you're liking these videos so far. I can spend some more time on TikTok and try out some hacks and see if they work. So the last one will be another makeup hack. It's the one where you put the lash glue on your top lip. <laughs> Okay guys, so for the fifth and last TikTok hat we're doing in this video, all you need is some lash glue. So this hat is about getting bigger lips and honestly when I was younger I said, oh I want to get a lip job, I want to get bigger lips, but I'm, I'm really happy with how they are right now, I'll probably get a nose job, but that's about it. This hack is about how to get that pout like that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to put lash glue on your cupid's bowl like this and then you wait for it to dry I feel like I put it on too high but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna see in a little bit okay it's a little clearer now now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my lip up so that my top lip hits where the glue is. This feels weird. <laughs> it didn't work. Look. It didn't work. We'll do round two. <laughs> We're going to be a little more careful with where we put our glue. I'm just going to lower right down here. It's hitting my nose. I don't think... My, I think my lips are too big for this top. Looks like I have a booger. Okay, you know, I just took off my whole foundation on my nose, but I'm not gonna give up. Let's do it one more time. Okay, this is round three of the lip job hack, and we'll see how this one works. I'm pushing my lip up as hard as I can.
What in the world? Why would anyone want your lips to look like this? <laughs> That was horrible. Wow. <sighs> okay. So, <laughs> I think my lips are already too big for this hack. So, I'm just gonna cover that up. It's a little blotchy, but anyway, it works. But I think my lips are already too big for this hack. So, you know, I'm gonna be happy with what the Lord gave me. And we're just gonna stick with my natural lips we've reached the end of this video i hope you like the five tiktok hacks that i showed today let me know down in the comments if you want to see more videos like this and that's it for today i'll see you guys in my next video bye